Okay, here is the R3000 uh, Compax Presario. Uh, one of my favorite computers. Of course, it's a bit old, but works good. They were built fairly heavy duty. And of course, it has the serial port for the or the printer port. I actually have a USB adapter. It's so it's USB. It's not the printer style cable going in the back. I guess you could use this USB adapter on any new computer, but since I already have the software loaded on this, um, and we're just going to leave it like that. So we're going to give it a try here. Um, and so I'll show you how it works. Basically what we're looking for is some action on the device we click on the little uh, two hands down here and load up the software as the software is loading up we should see some action on the device so these are different because they don't load up like the regular skill system would load up usually when software loads up you'll see a box indicating the device this one's a little slow on the draw it's only got like uh, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM compact R3000 it's just a little slow on the draw here okay there it is and so yeah this has the printer port style these supposedly all you had to do is plug them in and then oh, we have reaction okay so we've got the lights are reacting which is something that didn't happen before so basically what I had to do is uh, to disable the COM1 and run the uh, <clears throat> just run the LP printer port uh, option and so we see here and we go password which is the default password the default password is 0210 okie dokie and we'll go demographics and in this case normally we would fill out the questionnaire here and then click patient data fill in patient data uh, patient data up here on the top click that put the uh, client name whatever client data uh, for super learning and athletic enhancement or whatever anyway we're clicking here previous patient Previous patient. We're going to run the Earth. Previous client, excuse me. Um, so, has this patient given his informed consent? I don't know why this is real important, but apparently it is. And normally, if I'm in a hurry, I don't put uh, the client has made it any changes. So we're going to just close out of here. 
And so here we have the biorhythms, the biorhythm rhythm concerns. We'll click here. And we always click start with the biorhythms uh, up here on the top left. And then um, on the top right here, the biorhythm address a biorhythm concern. And so here we see that the different functions of the highs and low energy levels of each organ and or intellectual uh, ability. And let's see, did it do anything when we treat? Let's try it again, excuse me. Address biorhythm concern. Uh, we don't see the lights doing anything. Which normally I think it should, but I'm not sure, so. Let's close out of here and go into one of the main programs. So here we go to calibration. So the box is reacting. So we see the lights on the box reacting to the, this is the calibration. So we see that the box is reacting according to the software. Now, I always, uh, I always click here, uh, computer risk neutralization, so that the computer is sort of attuned to the device. And so we're gonna go click here, show and tune harmonics. I see the device is reacting. And so basically, you can put your hand on this if you don't have anything, just sort of temporarily. And then... So this uh, computer risk neutralization It's taking, what, a minute, two minutes. Now I have this one on batteries. So I have the batteries. I would prefer to use the batteries um, rather than the power supply. Uh, so basically, the reason why I like the batteries is because there's no risk of surge. So there will be no risk of a surge and you don't have to pack an extra piece of equipment when you go. Um, you know, there's theoretically other advantages, but the theoretical other advantages might be that if you have the, if your batteries are running low and you have a you might theoretically have a, a low output on your device if your batteries are running low. So that's the other, uh, the other, uh, that, that would be the advantage to plugging in your, your external power supply, your adapter. And so, yeah, if your adapter, that's the other thing, is if your adapter ever went haywire, I haven't seen it happen too often, but it is possible if your adapter ever went haywire, then you would, you know, possibly destroy your device, which in this case, it's not, not a real good idea to even um, approach that subject. Because this device is, theoretically no longer manufactured. Okay, so we're gonna close out here.
and we're going to fast track calibration up here on the top right. And then once again we see the lights on the device are reacting to the software. So it's a good thing to see these lights reacting accordingly. And that means the device and the software are connected and they're talking to each other. So next we go after uh, demographics, which is the client information. We go to calibration, then we go to the test. So here, um, I'm not going to do it, but I'm just going to show you top here, middle, top left. That is the, the prepare test button. Uh, we also want to set the power settings, the system power settings here to activate quantum indeterminacy field. Uh, so the quantum indeterminacy field works synthetically with the trinary software. The trinary software is not just zeros and ones. It's, it's like zero, ones, and twos kind of thing. So it gives the influence, it can take the influence of thought from the client and add it into the software theoretically or something similar to that I'm not up on the correct verbiage on how to explain that but that's the way I sort of understand it and so we always want to uh, activate po positive consciousness field and scalar boost active and then shield from remote viewing shield from remote viewing or interference and then after we've done the test, uh, basically what I always do is I always go here. After the test, I, I go to information and I add, I go down here to the bottom and add top 200 items to the, the whole tray. Or let's see, what does it say? Add top 200 items. Add, yeah, add top 200 items to info report. Um, and so after the test, and what will happen is after that, these, some item, some buttons right here will light up when you add them. I'm not going to add them. I'm just going to show you uh, these buttons here. And so basically you want to, what I normally do is I'll take the, like, bottom of the list here now this is planet earth mind you so okay so basically I go down to the bottom the highest numbers Anything over 100 is, is a concern. So, so basically, I just click here. Oh, cranial nerve, and stick it in the top yellow tray here. So basically, you just kind of get it, push down, move it over. And it's in there. 
And then what I'll do is I'll say, okay, test item in the whole tray. And so basically it's tested the item. And then also when you load the top 200 in, uh, items to the info tray here, it'll say there'll be uh, a stress reduction button that lights up. So you need to do that. And then, so the next thing to do is basically you go here, you go risk profile. And then in the case of a new client, whatever you, you do not click this part, load last client information. You would uh, click, there would be a button that came up and said new client information. Let's see, you want to load that. So I've done this on several of my other videos. And basically, it's pretty simple here. What I do is I will go down from top to bottom here and go through pretty much all these items and just start clicking on the stress reduction buttons. So for this one here, we've got blood's coming up high so we click on that what it does is it brings it up here to the top uh, tray here the top whatever place where you can fill in information and then we've got circulation and immune system and so basically you just click on it get three items up here on the top and then you'll notice that the virtual DR test will come up and and uh, whatever lighten up so you'll be able to click on it so once you've got those three items then you just push whatever de-stress these items and so yeah that's that's what's going on so it's actually providing electrophysiological therapy via a cybernetic feedback loop. Um, it also can work subspace, which is similar to prayer. Does anybody believe prayer works? Well, if you don't, then we hook you up. We hook you up here with the limb and head uh, strap so anyway after that basically I go click on all these items here I just go down from top to bottom and so this is okay and then we look for the high numbers so here we have 139 feminine Uh, blood revitalization click on that and once again we see that the device is reacting and so basically you click on all everything over 100 then you go down here to the bottom and you click TNT stress reduction TNT hold items stress reduction or retrain or whatever um, learning enhancement and so I just go down all, all to the amino, amino acids uh, perverse energy aromatherapy virtual DR homeo, homeopathy and nutrition sarcodes therapy now here and then they also have the dental program so here basically the therapy page is commonly the next page that I will go to and you will see up here that these items here in the top the colored items suggested suggest are the suggested items by the device so we go Auto Meridian Therapy. So basically we look for Auto Meridian Therapy and we go here. It's right here and we'll click on that. 
And then next thing we go to NLP addiction, stress reduction, relearning. Okay, so that would be the next thing that I would go to. And then there, and then generally what I do if you're in doubt, basically you just go down the line. Auto meridian therapy, after that's done, you go to scalar, scalar auto, auto frequency therapy, that's like a rife auto uh, detection and uh, frequency therapy. You go to auto trivector, auto color therapy. And so, yeah. And usually people are feeling pretty good by the time you've done, you've done that. And so here we can also go into dental. I basically like to keep it simple. So for instance, if I can go uh, to this panel by clo closing down other panels, for instance, we're going to close this down and then we're going to just close out of here. And then we see that we can actually go to therapy from here. So that means that basically we don't have to have these other pages loaded up demanding resources of the computer to do what we want to do. So we see we can go to therapy directly from the one of the first pages. And then we can go to risk profile from one of the first pages. We don't have, a, have to have a bunch of pages loaded up on the system and then we see we can go to homeopathy or homeotherapeutics and so yeah that's a little bit about the program um, let's go back to and once again from one of the start pages we're just going to go into risk profile so from risk profile we can do a lot here so basically the other one is the virtual DR, stress reduction, relearning. I call it different names, but, and then here we can go into connection to spine, connection to DNA, connection to NLP, neuro linguistic programming, connection to homotoxicology. Now the homotoxicology is actually one of my favorite programs And then we see that, okay, so this is the virtual DR. This is not, not the homo toxicology. And so basically what we do is these items here in the purple, we just click on them one individually. And then it will do the stress reduction uh, through the device. And so, the device is yeah so the device is uh, it's geared towards stress reduction and for it does not diagnose treat or cure and nor am I a medical doctor. I was a certified medical assistant, but I'm not a medical doctor. And so it's always advised that you consult your physician before you do any type of stress reduction, uh, super learning programs, muscle re-education, etc. So let's see, let's go into, okay, so this is, okay, we'll go to, this is back to therapy. So in here we have the trivector whole lin lingu linguistic therapy, which is basically sort of a rife mora isn't it? No, oh, okay. So this is a scalar generator, which is pretty cool, which should actually be filled out, but I hardly ever do because I just, uh, it's hard for me to remember the numbers, basically. And 
the, there are other therapies that are just as effective as the Rife generator and scalar generator. Um, I also have the Rife generator that I use separately that will work subspace as you do uh, this program. So you can run both programs and there'd be no conflict because the other subspace Rife program is, is not inter whatever directly connected to the device or the software, the computer here. So, and then here once again we have various items. We already talked about this before. Now, here we go, mental N NLP interface. Okay, I'm not going to go into that now, but there are several different options here. You can go into more programs if you go directly from the test page. And so here's the homotoxicology down here. The homotoxicology is basically environmental pollutants that are affecting the stress in the body. Info click here first. So that's what we need to do. Click that. And then Xenobiotics. Actually, you should click Xenobiotics first. And then here we see the items, the environmental toxins that are causing stress in the body, causing suppression to fulfillment, suppression to uh, super learning. And so here we see 114 halogen chlorine. Halogens are also the fluoride they put in the water. And so if there's fluoride in your water, your tap water, um, it's not good. So you need to either get reverse osmosis, spring water, distilled water, and use that type of water instead of the chlorine and halogens that are showing up high on this particular program. Also, we have caffeine and stimulants showing up high and then mental retention of toxins. So basically, we just go up here, there's a button up here that says stress reduction for the top five, uh, five items. And so basically it will give you the electrophysiological feedback that helps to balance the energy. So basically what it's doing, it's sending in various electronic shapes of substances to see how your body reacts. And so what it will do is we'll figure out, because because it is a statistical program, it will figure out which substances are beneficial to the body. And, it, and it's, it tells by the reaction, the electrophysiological reaction of your body, of the client's body, uh, it can tell which, uh, what is good for the client. And so it's very similar I mean, in, a, in layman's terms, you could use the word basically charging up the cells with a certain amount of frequency or DC voltage uh, required by the cells to perform stress-free or to perform in the sort of ultimate super learning and or retraining program. So that's a little bit about the program. And so if you need any help, you can contact me at Health Savers for You. Uh, the letter, the number four, and the letter U at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.